Hey guys, so I'm about to um, heat shrink wrap all of the chickens we butchered this weekend. When I first did this, I had a really hard time getting the shrink bag to be tight on the birds and I figured out a couple tricks along the way um, that get a nice good seal so I thought I would show you guys. These are all the chickens we butchered this weekend. Um, so after you butcher them, you want to let the meat rest for um, 24 to 36 hours. So that is not tough when you freeze it. Um, so these are just in non-scented trash bags in buckets. And then I keep them in my cold storage room um, for that period of time. And it's about 38, 39 degrees in there. Um, so it's plenty cold. So these are all nice and cold. Um, so they're waiting. Then we have a stock pot. You wanna make sure your pot is plenty deep that you can dunk your whole chicken in without water flowing out of the top. And then there's a thermometer in there. Um, we want our water to be 190 degrees, unless your bags say something different. Um, so this is what they look like when they come in the mail. This is a normal or a different brand than I normally use, um, but it was all Amazon had in stock. So they'll come with zip ties and then the bags. Um, so, here's what the bag looks like. And here's all the zip ties. Uh, so what I'm gonna do while that water is heating is I'm going to stick a bunch of birds in bags and then set them in my sink so they can just wait there till the water's ready. And then I will show you what we do from there. Also wanted to note, so if you follow me on Instagram, you know we had some problems with our birds. Um, some of them were incredibly small. So you may see me pull out some really tiny, I mean like palm of my hand, chickens. Those are all gonna go in a stock pot I have over there. Um, I'm just gonna make broth out of those, pick the meat out. Um, and depending on how much meat there is, we'll use it this week or freeze some. Um, but they are very, very small birds. So they go in the bag, head in down, just like that. Um, and then what we do is we're gonna twist it Grab a zip tie. We'll pull them out first. And then we're going to put our zip tie on. Okay, don't put your egg in there. Bless you. So we got our zip tie on nice and tight. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of air still in this bag. And so what we're gonna do, take this, and I take a push pin and poke a hole right towards the top up here, just a tiny little hole, maybe two right there. That way when you dunk it, the air can escape out those tiny holes. So the really small birds that I knew I was gonna make stock out of. I left the necks on. It looks totally weird, but there was no sense in cutting them off since they're just going in the stock pot. Okay, all of our chickens are in bags. The water is at 190. And we are going to pick up these bags and then start dunking them. I have towels set up um, where I just moved my phone from to put them on when I'm done. Okay, so we got our pot of water going and it's at 190 and we're going to start putting the birds in the water to seal the bags. So you're just gonna dunk it and you wanna make sure you get the whole thing in.
and you can hear the air bubbling out. You want to let it go all out. Just a couple of seconds. Then you have a nice tightly sealed bird. And then we can take this end. And we'll dunk it back in for just a second. And then pull the zip tie back tight because that shrinks that up a bit. There you go. Super easy. I'm gonna do the rest. Um, and then I will just weigh these and write the weight on them and be done. So it's really quick, easy, doesn't take a lot of time. And if you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe and like this video and make sure you turn on notifications for my channel. Thank you.